countering my orb. The orb. What does the orb say about the victory? It don't it won't tell me. Okay. Who's Liz? It is my, before Liz. Hold on. Hey yo Miles, you boot up? <laughs> who's Liz Miles? Answer me. Hey, uh, hey Miles, who's, who's who's Liz? Why are you why are you playing for her? Well Liz, I don't know. I got a I'm gonna ask him. I am I'm gonna I'm gonna grill him on it. You wanna <laughs> double grill him on it? Absolutely. Being like uh Miles. Oh, who's his hands in his Wait, that combo is extensive. It's pretty cool. That delayed falling up air into the nair. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Even though it's definitely basic Yoshi stuff, I like seeing that. Because I usually don't see Miles go for stuff like that. Ooh. Yeah, okay. This matchup, I can talk about it. Because, <laughs> you know, uh, I'm so filthy stinking Yoshi main. It's a really interesting one. Uh, for one, Pikachu's normal bread and butter edge guarding stuff does not work on Yoshi. The fact that he armors, you saw that. He armored through <laughs> down air at like 90. I feel like Yoshi and lifts like stupid hyper sense against Pikachu. Oh, he absolutely does. Uh, like with as as Pikachu, you either get like some crazy early stock, which you can do. You know, Yoshi is gimpable. Is the thing. He is a very gimpable if you put him in the right position. Uh, but if he's if he has his resources, it feels like there's almost nothing you can do. Like he armors through thunder jolts. He armors through forward air. He armors through neutral air. He armors through uh, back air. All Even back air? All oh my god, that's right. You see, he just armored the forwarder right here. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> oh and my god. I mean, this is another thing. Yoshi, when he runs, he kind of crouches down a little bit, you know? Gets close to the ground, and that can be really good for avoiding something like a Thunder Jolt. Yeah, man. Because the Thunder Jolt does hop over. Yoshi just somehow dodging out with his big old noggin. Able to get in and sneak in there, and. Definitely good stuff. Miles with a Just wonderful whip punish. That spacing was so good. Uh, He's, what are you doing, buddy? That's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. I feel bad for him for that one. Now he just had to, pay, you know, he had to uh, pay one of the stocks to the to the gods. You know, offer it up as a sacrifice for the uh, the combo gods. Said he can get some sick nasty combos on Mr. <laughs> L. Ooh, I think you saw the beginnings of back air come out right there. That is one thing, that if Pikachu waits out the uh, double jump, I think the double jump, it used to last for 60 frames. I think it still lasts for about 60 frames. Oh. So if Pikachu just, like, doesn't hit a button and waits it out, definitely he can uh, uh, punish Yoshi on his landing after. But uh, I feel like punishing the landing for Yoshi is probably also a harder thing for most people. Because not a lot of Yoshi's moves have a good amount of ending lag. They'll have very little. <laughs> Except for downer. Well, they don't. Um, generally speaking, yeah, like Yoshi's moves have his aerial specifically surprisingly low and lag. But um, if he's double jumping to get past Pikachu's like you know forward airs and back airs and things, then he's not going to be hitting a button. Ah. Uh -huh. So he's going if he is going to do an aerial, it's going to be extremely late. So probably at the end of the at the end of the jump. I how Miles just spent that whole, like, 30 seconds. While we're talking, Miles is dipping and dodging all of these T-Jolts just to hit him with one back air to kill him. I mean, Yoshi's aerial mobility is... It's, his, his speed is literally the best in the game. I and agree. he has good drift and everything on top of that, you know? He can absolutely just, like, space outside of those Pikachu T-Jolts, especially the more predictable moves that Pikachu might have, you know? Good DI. Ooh, wonderful DI. Oh, another thing I forgot to point out. This is like what? 14 and 6 on the NYPR? I think it might be. I know Miles is number 6. I forget which one L is. I think 14 sounds about right. Let's go. Which yeah. means that winning matters a lot here. Yes, it matters it does. for like the next season, which I know both of these guys want to. It's actually going to be really tricky for Miles to be on the next PR season. Yeah. Because he's a filthy uh, college student. New England. Who lives yeah. in New England. I'm happy for him. He gets a lot of good practice over there, but it's still New England. <laughs> Not here in NY. Oh, that was tricky from L. Oh, I, I thought that egg, that egg was going to lead to Mr. L's death. So I'm not, listen, the only person I've seen do that was Danish. And that I saw that clip. He saw that clip. He hopped over with the that. egg. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, I like that landing from Mr. L. 
He has to be so careful. Now, this is something is that he has been a, doing a really good job of staying extremely grounded against Yoshi at these kill percents. Because Yoshi kind of can struggle to kill Pikachu if he's just going to stay on the ground and shield, you know? Absolutely so. We're seeing it right now. So yeah, like four miles, miles to get in these stocks off pretty quickly, but as soon as yeah. was like no. Like he's been throwing out those downers, which are really good if you know the opponent is going to go for like an empty hop or something like that, or you know any type of move that you know the downer can just like be. Uh, but already he's gotten killed for it once, and with a minute 41 on the clock, you know, this isn't going to go to timeout. But it's this has been a long grind of a game. And Mr. L does have a slight, slight lead. He's jumping a lot, though, right now. Mihaio's going for the grab. That's actually so big. The fact that he was brave enough to go for that in this sort of extremely last hit situation. Oh, no way. That works. It works, but it's not getting him to kill just yet. He has the lead. Chipping away at the shield. His uppers won't do, but wow. the Tim right in the face. And that he will jumped. take it. He jumped. He must have jumped right there. No, he definitely if he had jumped. Just go, if he just let go of shield, he wouldn't have done a parry, right? Yep. I think so, right? Mm -hmm. That seemed like it was uh it seemed like it was another parry window. But yeah, no, it's one of the really tricky things is that if you're Pikachu at kill percent, you don't go into the air. Absolutely like, it's not. so hard for uh, Yoshi to actually kill you. If you were staying extremely grounded, because like he can try to like space on your shield, mm -hmm. you know. But Pikachu's fast on the ground, and you know if you're doing those safer moves, that means you have to jump into the air without hitting a button, you know. And if Pikachu throws out a T jolt at that time, or then is able to react to it and maybe go in for an up smash or something like that, the point is that like if you're Yoshi, even then like safely spacing on shield doesn't guarantee a kill or anything like that. So. No, it doesn't, but it's... Eh, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. It's just like, if you stay on the ground and shield at those kill percents as uh, Pikachu, which is very hard for Yoshi to really convert it into something Ooh, really meaningful. Oh, my God, that, la that landing up air was so big. Was 50 more. Look at this. He literally snaps advantage away from L. Oh! Wow! That, that was, was so, so good! good. <laughs> he used the invincibility from the forward smash. I think there's about... Three or so frames of invincibility, and that's all it took. That was so brilliant from Miles. A single opening, all started from one tiny overextension from Mr. L. Cost him his entire life. Oh. Wonderful rec recognition from Miles, too. I want to give him a map prop for that. All right, back into this neutral game. Miles now with the lead. He can play exactly the way he wants. But I'm so certain this is kind of similar to how the last game went, except Miles did not have as big of a lead as he has now. Uh, I think at one point he did, so definitely this is the sort of thing that Mr. L has proven he can make a comeback happen against. See, very <gasps> easy. One thing I got to give props to Mr. L is probably just like, you know, he knows, he knows this matchup very well. He's really good at with punishing Yoshi. Which is normally a lot of people have a uh, struggle to do that. Yeah. And I don't blame them. We're punishing this dinosaur is very difficult. Yoshi dips and dives all over the place. He used to, he'd think he an NASCAR. From how fast he's moving. Oh, praying on an overextension. Please. NASCAR is wish they were that safe on shield. <laughs> Imagine a car that's safe on him. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, a lot of cars are safe. Oh, wait, no, never mind. No, they're not. Depends they what they're hitting. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> car no, hits a deer I, safe on that's how instead I want to hear instead of like a five star crash safety rating I just want to hear safe on hit safe on safe hit. on <laughs> safe on you hit. hit the deer don't worry about it you don't, it's safe yeah, on sa block safe on block <laughs> oh my god <laughs> and Miles is still alive 184 and he died to up air why do I talk why do I talk I'm mad now. I mean so also it's true that while Yoshi can uh you know or while uh, Pikachu can survive against Yoshi by staying grounded, Yoshi can also do a really good job against at surviving against Pikachu. You know, he's already a pretty thick boy. He has shares the same weight class, uh, the exact weight actually, as Captain Falcon and Link. You know what? He has all the lead in his nose. Of course, he has the same weight as it's that. Actually, it's actually it's in the it's in the, the feet. It's in the oh, toes. never mind. That's why his feet get bigger. He has like it's actually so the thing is that because his nose expands, it's his nose is air. It's uh, it's like a like a uh, it's a vacuous sack that he can inflate. Uh, all of the mass basically, he's mostly balloon. All of the mass <laughs> he has is uh is that's, 
Nice. No jump also. This should be his death. Oh, great edge guard. But anyway, so uh, he's mostly balloon. However, in his uh, in his tiny little uh, feet, there actually contains uh, the entirety of his mass, which is basically the equivalent of all of Captain Falcon's body weight. <laughs> so uh, those little those little sneakies, uh, they got um, ooh, big they got about 200 plus pounds in there. Okay. That explains why in that upper to chase, Miles will take it. Yeah, and that's the thing you always have to respect here. She's double jump armor if you're playing as uh, playing as Pikachu. Just Yoshi's able to eat through it. Like, almost all of your moves, especially your aerial-based moves, mm -hmm. I think the only move that he won't just, like, eat through without thinking twice about is Thunder. Nah, he, 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 I don't think he can. Because it's like... Well, no, like, what Pikachu move other than, like, downer will start breaking it around, like, I mean, we saw around, like, 90 or something. Before that, it's kind of relying on, I mean, if you're on the ground, you can forward smash. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, you're relying on, like, what, a thunder? Like, a thunder 2 connection? Yeah. In order yeah, to break nah. it? You're right. You're right. That's, like, that's not happening. It's not happening. Especially if the Yoshi plays, like, very aerial based. Yeah, no, not happening. Anyway, um, uh, I think I'm going to hop off of the mic because breathing. <laughs> so, you do what you need to do, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I, if I'm feeling better, I might hop on the mic again later. Uh, but in the meantime, you can follow me on Twitter at SaltyFun underscore SSB. Uh, I make all sorts of funny tweets about how I lose to Gatsby in brackets. So, <laughs> you know, go ahead and check it out, guys. Uh, but anyway, uh, I will catch you all later, but stay tuned. Indeed, because next we are going to have Charles versus Pokéland. Pokéland throwing his face back on stream. Ah, the Encore class, we're going to have Quid versus Miles. Oh, Charles B. Swigsy. Charles B. Swigsy, hey! That's not bad at all. That's wonderful. Charles beat Noku also. What? So Kaninja beat J-Gun, and Bo will beat Kaninja. Oh, that's top eight. Oh, this is top eight. Oh, my God. We're so deep in bracket. It's been before 10 o'clock. What the heck? And I'm about to be joined by a user with the beard. Hey. Ryan, whenever you get a chance. No. Oh. Oh. Yes, sir. Ryan's the boy. He knows. Yo, what is that? What is what? what this? Is it is a tamale. Oh. Uh, you see, like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just couldn't see it from here. <laughs> nah, it's understandable. Oh. I honestly, I, I want it warmed up because I'm Cold Canale, not really doing it for me. I swear there was a microwave here. The what? I thought there was a microwave. At there all is part. there is a microwave here, and I'm going to warm it up. But first, I want to nice. commentate, nice. and then I want to run games with the people, everyone here. Nice. I just kind of want to mess around. I don't know. No, I do. Cause I'm, I'm going to CEO next week. Oh. Yeah, so I need to be in top shape. Ooh. Or at least I need to be in good shape. I'm not in the fast shape right now. Uh.